Hey everyone, it's Alicia. I'm Grace. And welcome to the Holistic Playground. Uh, Grace is an acupuncturist and she's one of the rides on the playground. I call it a playground because uh, there's many different holistic practices that uh, complete the adventure. And mm -hmm. life is fun <laughs> <laughs> when um, it's yours. And it's yours when you heal um, the things in the way of it being yours. So uh, I came to Grace because I have had some symptoms with uh, water retention and bloating and I've been exploring different avenues and causes and she had um, given me an explanation that was a very eye-opening and exciting for me. Uh, so tell us about what you discovered today. Okay, so let me just give you a little bit of background first. So. As Alicia said, I'm an acupuncturist, and I treat uh, mostly digestive ailments, so one of them commonly being weight loss, of course. And so Alicia had come to me uh, talking about her water retention issues, and she had told me that she had gone through some pretty um, you know, deep uh, cleansing and detox treatments, and she was um, had made some major changes with the way she was eating, and all the typical things that I hear from my patients who are seeking to lose weight. And uh, what I'm finding with a lot of people here is that they're, they're thinking about what they need to do, how they should drink, and um, what they should eat, and that sort of thing, but uh, you, you know, not really realizing that what the real problem is, um, is a strong, is a, sorry, is a weak foundation. And so what I was seeing with Alicia was that you know, even though she was doing everything correctly, um, but her foundation was weak, so she wasn't being, she wasn't able to get the, the most optimal results that she was looking for. Yeah, so oftentimes we get caught up in like, what else can we cleanse from our body to correct it or uh, eat or fast? I was in Thailand detoxing for a couple of years and like not eating and doing juice fast and a lot of raw food and I came back and you know, I'm experimenting with other kinds of food and cleanses and herbs and things and um, Grace pointed out, well, your spleen is weak and, and I said, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, the point that I would like to emphasize here is that most people are only thinking about external causes. So again, they're thinking about what they're doing uh, from the outside to their body. But what a lot of people need to be need to realize is that you need to start from the inside first. And so when you start from the inside, that gives you the best chance at experiencing the best results with whatever else you're doing after that. And so with Alicia, like I was saying, even though she was doing everything correctly, um, she still wasn't getting the optimal results because her foundation inside was weak. Yeah. yeah. So oftentimes, well, it's, it's everything at once. So, you know, getting to the multiple causes and the multiple ways that we... Um, balance our system, but then there's always the effects of years of an imbalance or years of abuse, uh, lifestyle, mm -hmm. things like that. So the effects, you know, cause this weak spleen, um, and so it's about rebuilding and re, uh, making it stronger, the foundation exactly. stronger. Yeah, yeah. and um, and yeah. So I've been researching holistic health and healing for 20 years, and. Um, just passionate about uh, helping people with what's out there and the different um, practices that can help and uh, to go on your own ride <laughs> and explore um, to get to your foundational causes. Um, and you had done some things with acupuncture that I haven't experienced before. Oh yes, <laughs> okay. So what I was doing with Alicia was in addition to using the needles on her, I also um, use electrical stimulation. So it's called e-stim for short and what it is is where I'm applying electrodes to the tops of the needles and that gives it um, a, a stronger effect to the treatment. So I will tend to use that on patients who are experiencing you know, um, chronic issues or symptoms that seem to be very, very stubborn and won't turn around and so I will use that and um, I will also you know, usually use or apply a heat lamp to their core, to their middle section here. And that tends to, uh, with both things together, with the e stim and the heat lamp, it tends to give better results to the treatment. So, um, which I think is also, you know, uh, important because the core is the, you know, again the middle part of the body. It's the foundation. It's where all life and and growth springs forth from. So we need to make sure that the core is strong, keep it warm, and 
and everything else that you do after that would, you know, will um, be much more efficient. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about your yes. work. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks your, for letting me share. <laughs> in your heated bed. Yes. She has a nice <laughs> heated bed. <laughs> I make it very comfortable here. Yes. Grace <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> so uh, Grace is in Oakland uh, in the East Bay. Grand Lake area. Yep. And uh, find her on Facebook, Acupuncture with Grace. Thanks, Alicia. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Bye.